Oh, that's me. Welcome to the Salt Lake City Council limited formal meeting. If you are just tuning in, we're holding our meeting remotely for public and health safety reasons. A limited formal meeting means this is not a standard formal meeting agenda. Tonight, we only have a few items. Approve a set of meeting minutes, take a public comment on library budget amendment number two for fiscal year 20, 2020-2021, set a couple of hearing dates and approve a few board appointments. Otherwise, there is no other council business included, including no general public comment opportunity this evening. The next opportunity for general public comment will be at the council's Tuesday, June 15th formal meeting at 7 p.m. If you have any comments to submit, the council always welcomes your comments by mailing us at PO Box 145476, Salt Lake City, Utah 84114, emailing us at council.comments at slcgov.com, or by calling, excuse me, our 24 hour phone comment line 801 535 7654. All agenda related comments received through any source are shared with the council and added to the council public meeting record within 24 to 48 hours following the council meeting. For instructions to guide you on how to participate electronically to any of our WebEx meetings, please visit slccouncil.com or call 801-535-7600. We will begin with a moment of silence as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. When we are done, we will turn our audio back on. Sorry, just getting everything ready. For the public comment opportunity we have today, we are accepting your comments through WebEx and for those whose only option to call in, staff will be monitoring a separate telephone line. Before we begin, I want to mention and review our rules of, of decorum. These are guidelines that the City Council has always had in place to help our meeting progress in an orderly, civil and efficient way. They help us through the agenda and give everyone the opportunity to voice their opinions without feeling intimidated. In order to achieve this, please respect, the council wants you to know that we respect all points of view and welcome new insights. While giving your comments, be respectful as well. Avoid yelling, profanity, or making racial slurs, obscene or defamatory remarks. If you do use profanity during your comment, you will be muted. And if comments reach a level of disrespect, I will ask that you be muted and you will forfeit your opportunity to address the council. In addition, our staff will request your name during the registration. To limit disruption, your name cannot include a message or violate our rules of decorum. Taylor Hill from our staff is helping to moderate the meeting and will be messaging with the attendees to coordinate. Please monitor the chat screen for information. Again, there are several other ways for you to leave comments with the um, for the city council, you can mail us, email us, or call us. At this point, we are on item A4, where the council will approve the work session meeting minutes of Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, and Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. I will look for a motion. So moved, Madam Chair. Second. I have a motion by council member Rogers and a second by council member Dugan. I will go ahead and roll call this. Um, council member Baltimore. Council member Dugan. Yes. Council member Mano. Yes. Council member Ferris. Yes. Yes. Council member Rogers. 
And I am a yes, that is approved unanimously with uh, Council Member Warden not present. Noted. Our next item is B1, an ordinance um, with the library budget amendment number two for fiscal year 2020-2021. Before taking any comments, I will turn the time over to council staff, Russell Weeks. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This ordinance, this proposed ordinance is, can be described as a bookkeeping item that is required by under uh, general uh, generally acceptable accounting rules. The other thing it does is that it helps uh, uh, people see where property taxes raised in Salt Lake City for the library go uh, to the Inland Port and to the uh, Convention Hotel downtown. Those, both those items, uh, both those projects will have uh, an effect on Salt Lake City. And uh, this is one way of keeping track of that. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Um, Taylor, do we have any comments on this item? Good evening, Council Chair. We do have three commenters for this item. Uh, first is Annie Charles, followed by Emily Allworth and then Haley uh, Lemire. So one moment while I unmute Annie. And Annie, I apologize. Oh. I apologize, Bobby. I thought it was Taylor. So thank you, Bobby. No offense taken. Annie, you are unmuted. Hi, thanks. I just wanted to express my concern that money that could be going to the library is going to the Inland Port and the Convention Facility. I don't think we as a city should be funding the Inland Port. I know it sounds like it's beyond your discretion at this point, but also I think it's problematic that we're giving money to the Convention Facility as we're also giving the Convention Hotel um, free property taxes for 15 years. I think corporations and large entities should be giving their fair share to the communities that they are profiting from. If I have to pay taxes, so should these large corporations that have much more than I do as an individual. Um, I also wish you guys had a general comment period this week, just because you are going to be voting next week. So I just wanna air that as well. That's all. Council Chair, next we have Emily Allworth, followed by Haley uh, uh, Larmer. One moment. Emily, you are unmuted. Hi there. Um, I would also like to uh, voice my opposition to um, this potential funding um, opportunity. I think that um, spending any money that has been earmarked for the library on anything other than the library is ill-advised. Um, I think that if we're looking for places to get money, to spend money on things like the Inland Port, which I believe is frivolous and unnecessary as it um, supposedly will be bringing so much income into the city via all the giant trucks that will be polluting our atmosphere. Um, if they cannot pay for these things via things other than uh, our taxpayer money, then frankly, it shouldn't be a thing to begin with because it really wouldn't be bringing any money into the city. But if that is really something you wanna subsidize with taxpayer money, I think rather than being false falsely transparent because I am sure that this bill will go through even though I'm sure the comments will all be in negative and not supporting this. Um, I think that the great way to find the money for this would be to defund the police. You could easily defund the police by a billion dollars and have a lot of money left over for the Salt Lake PD. Then you could fund your inland port. That's an idea. Then we can stop brutalizing people and instead spend money on brutalizing the environment. Novel. Thank you. Council Chair, next we have Haley uh, Lermer. One moment while I unmute Haley. Haley, you're unmuted. Hi, thank you. I would just like to reiterate that an increase in library funding only benefits people in their community as someone who um, grew up in a community where they added funding to their library that increased music services. Um, I was able to participate in an orchestra that would um, perform in their local library and that provided a service that um, those who were entering the library to 
come in and, and educate themselves and be in a safe space could also enjoy music um, while they were reading, while they're researching. And the reason that uh, our orchestra in the community I came from um, was able to perform there is because the budget allowed that kind of artistic um, contribution. Um, so an increase in uh, public funding for the libraries um, allows those kind of opportunities for the community to experience more than just um, reading, more than just researching, but also something that will add um, to their experience when they enter the library. So I yield my time. Council Chair, we do not have any more speakers to this item. Thank you, Bobby, and thank you to everyone who commented today. I will um, look for a motion. So uh, we're set to take council action next Tuesday. So I'll look for a motion at this point. Yeah, Madam Chair, I move that the city council close the public hearing and refer action to a later date. Second. I have a motion by council member Rogers and a second by council member Dugan. I will go ahead and roll call this council member Rogers. Yes. Yes. Council Member Warden. Yes. Yes. Council Member Valdemoros. Yes. Council Member Dugan. Yes. Yes. Council Member Mano. Yes. Yes. Council Member Ferris. Yes. And I am yes. Thank you, everyone. That passes. Our last item of business is the consent portion on our agenda. I will look for a motion. So moved. Do we need to uh, uh, strike number two, which is the rezone of the third half? Oh, thank you, Dan. We also need to strike number three as well because we didn't have Justin. We didn't. Uh, I'll, I'll oh, the oh, whoever that was, Jennifer Bruno. The 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 board appointment um, is true. The um, Rezoning, I think that the and we anticipated that you would still set the date so that we don't delay the final action any further, but recognizing that, yeah, you didn't have the briefing tonight, you'll have it next week, so it'll still be before the hearing. Okay. So if, James, you will amend your motion to uh, I, sorry, to approve the consent sorry. agenda minus G3. Yeah, yeah, so moved. And second. Thank you. I have a motion by Council Member Rogers, a second by Council Member Dugan. Um, I will roll call this Council Member Dugan. Yes. Council Member Rogers. Yes. Council Member Ferris. Yes. Council Member Valdemoros. Yes. Yes. Council Member Wharton. Yes. Council Member Mano. Yes. Yes. Great. Um, this adjourns our formal meeting. However, we need to convene in a work session meeting and enter into closed session. And so I will look for a motion to enter into closed session for the purposes of labor negotiations and advice of council. Madam Chair, I move that we go into closed session for the purpose of labor negotiations and advice of council and adjourn this meeting. Second, Madam Chair, sorry to interrupt <clears throat> before you adjourn. Um, sorry, uh, we were we were wondering if you wanted a really brief status update on where we ended the unresolved issues discussion. Um, maybe I can keep it as simple as I will be sending out an email to the council recapping where we landed. Um, one thing we're still waiting for is the property tax numbers. So. Um, the final property tax numbers from the state haven't come yet. Sometimes that leaves us with a couple extra hundred thousand dollars to work with. And so um, I will send that out to the council. I'll send out the latest version of the unresolved issues tonight to look for that. And then um, more to come. Perfect. I thought, I thought we we're going back into work session after this. Well, we technically, I guess, sort of are in work session now. 
since we adjourned our formal meeting, Katie will come on and, and tell me if I'm wrong. Um, so, yeah, I, I was unclear on that too. I thought we were having a closed session and then I thought we were going back into work session. Are we just having a closed work session or are we doing both? That is up to the council members. Yeah, we can do, we can do either. Lee. Um, well, I was just going to say, my my work, I was just going to say, and I didn't want to interrupt you, so I'll wait for you, but I would like to uh, watch the jazz game tonight. So, <laughs> well, my motion was just to close, to close and to go into, or to go into closed session. So I don't know if we need um, another motion to like have a work session after that, but that's, I, I think we should. Can we do the closed session first and see how long that takes? Okay, time out. Katie. Okay. okay. Procedurally, what do we need to do at this point? Are we violating rules? It feels very violative of rules. Uh, Council Chair Fowler, you are not violating rules. You have adjourned your limited formal meeting and are in work session, which is where you have the agenda item for to enter into closed session. You the the motion has been made to enter into closed session. You all can decide whether you want to at the end of closed session adjourn the work session entirely, or if there are other items that you want to revisit on your work session agenda. That's that's up to you right now. Perfect. Thank you, Katie. So, council members, this is what Jen and I were thinking because it is seven thirty. We did a lot of good work today getting through. The majority of the unresolved issues that Jen would send an email updating where we're at on the unresolved issues. We do plan on having a work session on Thursday, hopefully, because we got through some stuff. It wouldn't take too, too long, um, but that we felt a little like it may be counterproductive to get back into work session since we've, our brains have kind of gone from in all the different categories that we've been in today. Um, so Jen would kind of send out an update, letting us know where we where we stand, where we need to get, and that we're still waiting on some revenue dollars. Then we'd be we would all be prepared to have work session on Thursday at least for a couple of hours. At what time, Madam Chair? That is a good question. I would say probably two. So that's a proposal. Or we, I just don't I'll think. Just, I'll just chime in and I'll say that the unresolved issues is mostly finalized. Um, the unknown is the, are the property tax figures and then the balancing number that the council would need to balance because right now you're out of balance by a little bit. So those are the two unresolved, unresolved issues. So I am proposing that straw poll that we adjourn the meeting after the closed session and meet on Thursday, hopefully not for too long, but to get the finalized, get as close to final as we, we can. If indicate your feelings by your thumbs, I was going to get a t-shirt that says that. I'm a yes, Darren's a yes, Anna's a yes, Dan is a yes, Dennis is a yes, James is a yes, Chris is a yes. Okay, now we're back to Chris's motion on entering into a closed session for purposes of labor negotiations and advice of council. I had a motion by council member Warden. Do I have a second? Second. Yes. Second. I think I heard the first second from council member Ferris. So I will roll call this. Councilmember Ferris. Yes. Yes. Councilmember Wharton. Yes. Yes. Councilmember Valdemoros. Yes. Councilmember Dugan. Yes. Yes. Councilmember Mono. Yes. Councilmember Rogers. Yes. Okay. So we are prepared to go into closed session. Is there a separate link, or are we staying here and locking it? I believe there's a separate link. Okay. See you all there.